What is up guys? I am Ryan, your tech guy with the Click Experts, and we specialize in internet marketing, software development, and on-site technical support with your networks. guys six strand single mode fiber let's just jump right into it you guys may or may not have seen this before I'm just trying to give you guys maybe they're out there that haven't or maybe you're just starting a good intro to what this particular cable is so this is six strand single mode armored fiber optic cable uh, it's very strong pretty flexible let's just get right into it and we'll go ahead and get our six strands out so I'll go ahead and just make a slight cut just enough to gently try to get it open <clears throat> on both sides I'll pull it out <clears throat> kind of try to be as gentle as possible <clears throat> and we're just going to try to cut our ring out we'll just take our time with that Don't want to nick our cable inside. Okay. All right, now we're through it. So this is the armored portion. We've removed that. Inside we actually have our cable. So we're going to need to get into this cable. Let's go ahead and just lightly score it with some sharp scissors. And we don't want to nick the inside pairs. I think that should probably do it. It's a little bit more cut. There we go. All right, now we're into our pairs. So this is our six strands. We'll go ahead and separate these out. I'm just gonna demonstrate on one strand today. So there's our six strands. And we have our strength member, which is actually an aramid yarn. Some people call it Kevlar. Uh, but yeah, just a strength member in there. For the purpose of this video, we'll just uh, set that aside and I'll probably just leave it back behind here. All right, so we're demonstrating today on Leviton's SC Fast Cam, <clears throat> and these are really great. They don't require any specialty tools other than a cleaver, some strippers and some, let's see, alcohol wipes and your connector body and boot. So let's just dive right in and we'll start on a strand. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to give ourselves a little bit of bite on this and we're going to take out the outer sheathing, get right down to the cladding. Okay, so I just do a little pull, and usually I can break that piece out. Again, anytime you're working with these fibers, just be careful. This is glass inside. Uh, wear some type of safety glasses. I'm wearing my normal glasses. And uh, dispose of this inner fiber uh, very carefully. It is glass. If a pet comes along or someone ingests this, uh, they will probably end up in the hospital so be real careful with your fiber shards uh, what I like to do first is I like to do a strength member test where you just make sure that you didn't nick into that glass if you did this will obviously break so I like to go back and forth in each direction 
and I pretty much know, yeah, that's not nicked, it's strong. Now we'll move on to removing our next layer. And we'll get right down to the actual fiber, glass fiber. All right, we're just gonna gently pull off that layer of glue. And at this point, we're down just to almost the bare glass. Now you wanna use 99%, probably 99.9% .9 alcohol wipes. Uh, these are really do need to be lint-free wipes. Um, these already come with alcohol on them, but obviously if you have one of these bottles, you can use lint-free wipes. And um, these are actually come with alcohol on them, so they evaporate pretty quick. So we'll take our lint-free alcohol wipe, and we're going to just try to pull off any re of the rest of that glue on the inside until you hear a squeak. Okay, we, once we hear the squeak, we know that that fiber is clean and it's ready to be cut. Now, the way we cut it is with the cleaver. The cleaver does the cutting. I have this one I ordered. It seems to work pretty well. I'll go ahead and show you guys how that works. It's also worth noting these fast cams are great. Each one of them will actually come with an instruction packet, which is invaluable. We'll take a look at that as well. All right, so onto the cleave, we're opening up our cleaver. And this has a very sharp wheel inside. We're actually, through the lifetime of this tool, we're able to rotate this wheel three more times and get more life out of that cutting blade, which is nice. So we'll simply open our trap door here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and set my fiber into the middle slot and I'll actually pull it back until the outside sheathing is there at 10.5 okay and we'll close the door and when we press in the wheel is going to go forward it's going to slice the fiber and it's going to spring back Give us a perfect cut. And now our fiber is cut to exactly the 10.5 measurement that Leviton recommends for this. Let's just get into the uh, directions here. So we can see, it's gonna give you detailed <clears throat> instructions on this, but hopefully this video makes it a little bit simpler. All right, so we're at the we're actually here at the 10.5 millimeter cleave length and this works for SC, ST, and LC type connectors. I'll show you some of those connectors coming up. So we have our cleaved length right at the 10.5 millimeter as the manufacturer tells us to. All right, let's move on. Our fibers cleaved. Now we're ready to start getting set up with one of our visual fault locators. Um, fancy name for laser. I have a couple of them here. I think we'll actually use this one. And we're gonna want to get set up with our connector. Now these are supposed to be, they're supposed to be pre-depressed out of the factory. Um, I find that not all the time that they are, so it is always good like that one wasn't. You want to hear it click on both sides, the front and the back. Okay, that's step one before you remove the connector. All right, let's get our connector out. And we're gonna take a look. Okay. Now, we have a couple windows on here. I'm gonna explain those in a minute. And we also have a dust cap. We'll remove the dust cap. <coughs> We're going to insert the fast cam into our visual fault locator. Got to be kind of gentle with this, guys. Um, 
if you press too hard you can break the porcelain that's actually inside. I've done it before. Alright, let's get our power on. And now we have our laser going through the connector. And you guys can see window one is lit up with that laser. That's what we want. We don't see anything coming through window two. And when I try to shine it on my hand, I don't see any of the laser coming through. So to me that's a super good sign that we're ready. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that we're ready to go ahead and insert this for termination. All right, sometimes this takes a couple different hands, but uh, I usually am able to do it two-handed. All right, let's go ahead and start inserting our fiber. Now it's been stripped, cleaved clean, and we're now putting it into the body of the connector. And it can be hard. It's like threading a needle. If you have problems, just give it a little twist until it goes in. All right, it's gone in. <clears throat> now what we're really looking for here is for this window one to dim. Uh, we know that that fiber at that point will have gone all the way up and mated with the back side of that ferrule or the, uh, the pre-polished front end of this connector. So we can see bright, and then we can see it go dim, and we'll just create a little bit of a loop, squeeze both sides, and we have just terminated it onto our fiber. When you hold it upside down, you can definitely tell that this has cammed or locked on to that glass. All right, the next step would be to slide up the boot. Usually I would have put the boot on first, but uh, for all purposes, I wanted to show at the end the laser light going through so you guys can kind of get an idea how the light travels through that glass. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put the dust cap back on here. Sometimes I like to clean it as well with the alcohol. Number one thing guys, if you're doing this out in the field, everything's got to be spick and span clean because any kind of fingerprints on these surfaces will definitely mess everything up. The oils in your fingers will start reflecting, refracting light everywhere and it will compromise your connection. Alright, so let's get a boot on there. We'll go ahead and slide our boot on. We should have done this first, but that's okay. We'll slide a boot on there. And this one just kind of screws in. It's recommended also by the manufacturer that you screw it in with this Aramid yarn as a strength member. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like. We'll just grab a little bit here. And so, yeah, I believe normally you would try to screw that in there with the connector. It's just going to add a little bit more strength to it. And let's see. Sometimes instead of the Aramid yarn, I like to use hot glue on the connector, so I don't always use this, this uh, Kevlar, but you guys may want to uh, as far as following what the rec recommendations of the manufacturer are. Alright, so we got that there. Let me go ahead and take this out. Alright. Alright, so with our... I usually like to uh, do hot glue at the end. Different people have different styles. Alright, so there's our connector. Let's take a look at, once the laser is going through our connector, let's take a look at how it looks coming through. So, and 
we're going to go ahead and strip off some of the outer jacketing. It's good to take a little nips, nips at, at a time. time. Okay. And we'll strip off some of that cladding. Give it a quick wipe again. Oh, we hear the squeak. <clears throat> All right. So now let's take a look and see how this light travels through our single strand of single mode fiber. Right, we're going to turn on our laser. There's our laser. Okay, we know it's working. And we're gonna remove our dust cap. Hook up to our VFL. It's being gentle. You wanna just get it just right till just when you're perfectly straight and it just slides right on. Alright, let's see what we have now as far as light coming through. Alright guys, so you can see we terminated the end and this is how that light passes through the cable. Oh, we have a pretty good light source here. Um, you know, this is basically translating to how networks can send and receive data with light through pulses. And this just demonstrates, you can see how the light's traveling. All right, so that's our VFL. We can see the light passing through it. And this basically is for long haul transmission of data through light. We can go miles. Uh, distance is not so much of an issue with single mode. It connects buildings. It connects streets. And I was happy to show you this today, guys. Please, if you like this, please comment, subscribe. Glad to hear your feedback. If I missed something, uh, you know, hopefully you can point it out and we'll check it out on the next video. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content or you learned something, please give us a like, a comment, subscribe. Again, this is Ryan with the Click Experts, your tech guy, signing off. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out our Patreon page for more in-depth videos. The link is in the description below. See you again soon.